The Art of War by Sun Tzu. A passage from The Art of War. On the day they are ordered into battle, they sit up and weep, wetting their clothes with tears. They lie down and weep, wetting their cheeks, but throw them where there is no escape and they will fight with the courage of the heroes Zhu and Gui. So, when it comes to fighting, when it comes to war, when it comes to trying to achieve victory in something, if you have too much of a careless attitude and you discount the value of fear, discount the value of caution, discount your own body's instincts and survival mechanisms such as being nervous, there is a chance that you may neglect important information and wisdom and actually be ignorant. Now, it is very typical to have a very, I don't fear anything, I have no fear, fear is stupid attitude and, you know, that's okay. I understand it. I completely understand it. But in war, in victory of any endeavor caution is not stupid necessarily uh, you spend all your money on a thousand different business ideas you're gonna lose uh, in many of those cases and you're gonna lose a lot of money and maybe to begin with you'll you'll not care because you want to try but after a while you don't want to lose money constantly on business ideas that won't get anywhere you want to be cautious and you hesitate and that's not uh, a sign of weakness that's not a sign of being an idiot it's a sign of intelligence you have a certain amount of money and you have a certain amount of energy and you're not going to spend it on things that are very likely to fail or very likely to cause you suffering pain some kind of uh, loss so on the day you're ordered into battle, they sit up and weep, wetting their clothes with tears. They really, really cry. Maybe they're nervous of their own failure in some way. And also, maybe they have to end up hurting someone else. Maybe they end up not just hurting someone else, but maybe even if they win, in some way they end up hurting their family by some... Uh, Winning, they maybe get into trouble and end up hurting their family. So, they are cautious. They're not silly. They act from a place of safety. And they don't just weep a little bit. They really, really weep. They understand the fear. But, throw them where there is no escape. And they will fight with the courage of the heroes. And throw them where there is no escape doesn't mean throw them where there is no escape. And then they fight for 10 years. You know, as soon as there's an escape, you can escape again. It kind of reminds me of a story. And I guess I'm going to go into this. A uh, story from the Zen book I have. It's called The Pirates. And it talks about how a group of pirates uh, attack a, a Japanese island. And lots of pirates, uh, lots of Shaolin monks are on this island, which are like fighting monks that practice fighting for the purpose of helping others or protecting their village or something like this. And they go and beat these monks. Uh, the, the pirates go and, um, you know, try and get these things. They try and attack these monks. And eventually one pirate comes upon a old man and, um, Pirate uh, calls from far away, beware of these fighting monks, uh, you know, they can fight, they're not stupid, whatever. And one pirate 
uh, ends up killing a few different people here and there. And one of the monks, he he pretends to be nice or something, but he kills that pirate. And he's a really devout, you know, spiritually focused person. And he saves the whole village because he kills the pirate. And someone is, um, and just before the pirate is dying, he, you know, he really honors the pirate and stays with him until he dies, you know. And the pirates that are watching are shocked by this, that someone would be so loving and caring with the pirate that was trying to kill them. But... He killed the pirates and um, he killed the pirate and the, the, the other pirates decided to leave. Um, and later one monk uh, tells the monk, you know, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. Uh, I understand why you killed that man. It's because you wanted to save the village and yourself. And the, the Shaolin monk the, that killed the pirates said, it wasn't because I wanted to save the village or, or myself. I wanted to stop this man from getting lots of bad karma and ruining his future. And his, uh, I, w I was willing to take some bad karma in order that this man wouldn't receive any more. So that's basically saying I killed this man. I killed this pirate because I wanted... To stop this pirate from accruing any more negative karma. And I was willing to sacrifice some of my own to do that. And with such a pure motivation. It's like, it's not just I'm trying to save my family, my area. I'm trying to stop even this person from suffering. And that's why I did it. So... This kind of caution is not just caution like yourself. It's like I might end up hurting someone. I'd rather, you know, someone, you say you steal something from someone that's yours. Maybe you get into a fight and it goes a bit wrong and you, you know, you don't want to accidentally hurt someone and really badly injure them in a fight or something. It's not something you want to do. So it's saying don't neglect caution um and i think it's a good quote a lot of the art of war a lot of Taoist teachings about fighting is very cautious 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 because everybody thinks the most important thing is bravery and i won't discount the the importance of bravery because a lot of people are very fearful a lot of people have not learned to overcome their fears and that's okay but if you spend you know for some people, it might also be beneficial to look into being cautious and brave. Because recklessness can get you killed. It can get other people killed. Um, it can cause a lot of suffering and a lot of failure. And it's natural. You want to succeed. You want to be living an easy life. You want to uh, not make other people or yourself suffer. So this is the first quote from the Art of War.